Next up, we're adding a big helping of Ayurveda to today's Wellness Wednesday content with a delicious meal for our daily dish. Thanks, Lele. <laughs> is Chef Devin, of course, Rajkumar, and here to help him out. Yoga expert turned sous chef for the day, Seth Mohan. It is so good to see you both here. So, it's Chef, I'm going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about Ayurveda and food. Ayurveda is a natural system of medicine, and that mm. translates to health and wellness and breath and being connected and being energetic. And, of course, that translates to the food that we eat. So we're making a dish called Kichidi, which uh -huh. is awesome, and we'll talk a little bit more about it later because we're doing some activities uh, that it's uh, intertwined with. But to get started okay. with this dish, because there's a lot of ingredients here, we have our onions and our ginger going into our preheated pan. You can pan. get your sous chef busy over there. I have to do Thank nothing. Thank you, Seth. I'm going to do nothing, too. I'm, I'm going to go take a seat. <laughs> the garlic can go in as well, sir. And we're going to be putting some really fun stuff in here. Okay. Here, I have what's called... Kasha. This yeah. is buckwheat. This is naturally gluten-free, yeah. and it's rich in antioxidants and fiber. It's good for your digestive. It aids that your digestive digestion. Okay. Next, we have mung bean. Again, high in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. This version over here is essentially when it's unsprouted, yeah. and then I soak it overnight, and it sprouts. Uh, similar to lentils and other greens, it makes it easier to cook when you go to cook it. So it's not like this is a quick 30-minute recipe. Like you're putting some thought um, into this. Aside from that, it can be. Yeah. Okay. okay? All right, that's fair. Uh, but the real key to this, yeah. and one of the keys in Ayurvedic cuisine, is turmeric. Yeah. This helps strengthen the energy in our body. Yeah. And when we're using the turmeric, and also for uh, digestion as well, and mm -hmm. so many other health benefits, when we use it, we want to use black pepper, which contains a compound mm -hmm. that helps our body absorb it better. Okay. So we're going to add in a bunch of these spices into the mix. And you might be thinking about what are doshas and, and why is this dish tri-doshic? What does that mean? What does that for mean? For all that and more, I'm going to pass that off to my, uh, <laughs> my colleague here. Well, according to Ayurveda, everybody's constitution is based on five elements. That's okay. earth, space, fire, water, and earth, okay? And okay. from these elements, we get our doshas. And doshas are a combination of these elements. Okay. okay. So the three doshas are vata, pitta, and kapha. Vata people tend to be slim, energetic, and creative. Okay. Pitta people, they tend to be more st steady, strong, and stable. Okay. And then kapha people, they're strong, tenacious, and okay. strong leaders. All right. What, what's your dosha? I am a vata. You're a vata. What's dev? Kapha. Kapha. What's Tracy? I'd say you're a Kapha as well. Okay, I was going to say you tread lightly there, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. You know, I could be tenacious, but I would put myself in the in the same one as Dev for sure. Yeah, so, I can so, see that. So thank you for explaining that. Yeah. This meal is tridoshic. So this okay. supports and promotes health and wellness. Yeah. And uh, it is a solid foundational pillar recipe. When we were discussing Ayurveda cuisine, and where did Ayurveda come from? Yeah. Thousands of years ago, over 3,000 years ago, it started in India. Mm -hmm. And growing up at temple, going to Mandir, being raised as a Hindu, Ayurveda is woven in to my religion. So yeah. I'm fortunate as a kid that I grew up with a lot of this stuff. But I didn't pay attention to it when I was a kid. I was going to ask you that. It's like, no. how much of that did you take in and how much of it was an eye roll? I just wanted to get out of Sunday school right. and, like, go crush <laughs> ice caps at 10 years old. Right. Right? Yeah. So, so now, as I'm becoming more aware and more in tune with my body and yeah. understanding that we are what we eat, it's just like, this is a... Uh, this is a really fun place to be. Beautiful. You come right back around to it, and I think that's the experience for so many of us. There, so what are you putting in now? So we have a lot of different vegetables in here. So yeah. we have the corn and the, the broccoli. color is beautiful. And I want to encourage you at home. You might have cauliflower in the in the fridge. You might have bok choy. Yeah. You might have some type of other herb, maybe beets. Yeah. Whatever yeah. it is, get it in there. Yeah. So we have the broccoli, the corn, tomato. I have carrots and celery. Uh, Seth is stirring this right now, and I have the mung bean, and I also have the kasha, the buckwheat. Don't forget, if you're smelling that, that's the turmeric, that's the black peppercorn, yeah. that's the coriander, mm -hmm. that is the cumin. It's just beautiful. And when you eat this, it digests well. Yeah. You feel nourished. You feel like you have energy. This is the tridoshic properties that we are talking about. And Absolutely. it's also, when's the best time to eat this? Well, you know, in, in yoga, we do certain cleanses, and we sort of flush the body of to toxins, flush the body of any waste. Yeah. And afterwards, the meal that you always have is kichri, right? Because it is something right. that nourishes your body. It's something that brings you back to being feeling healthy and energized. 
Great dish over here to meal prep. Yeah. Great thing. You can even freeze this if you oh, need it to. Oh, good. So That's excellent. So I can excellent. do this on a Sunday because I'm yeah. on like a bit of a plan now. Yeah. Add protein into it if you need to. Do what right. you got to do. I have a finished dish here. It looks and I good. To, I want you to taste this energy. Yeah. And this, this soul nourishing food that yeah. we're talking about. And I'm hyping it up because it's in there. I know you're going to taste it. I believe it. you, but you left me a spoon. Is that normal? Would uh, we eat it with a spoon? Well, we're family. So like I just got back from Pakistan. We yeah. all eat from the same plate. Let's do it. There you go, bud. Thank you. You're welcome. You'll taste that ginger and the mm, heat, mm, and uh, it's just, mm, it mm, feels great mm, in the gut. Mm-hmm. 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 Good, right? That's awesome. I can keep my job? Yes. I'll keep my job. He should come back, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah.